like Kirk from Air Sound and Vision up in Cairns again, go along with our ever popular front door panels for the 79 and 76 series Land Cruisers. We've had a lot of demand for rear door panels also, so we've developed these guys here. Again, they're made from a water resistant ply, so harsh treatment and harsh environments won't worry them. Heat wrapped in vinyl. We've got two different versions of them. This is the six and a half inch coaxial version with a recessed speaker, similar to the fronts. And then we also have a six by nine version, which brings the speaker out slightly further for clearance in the door. Let's get in the workshop and show you guys how to fit them. Here we've got a brand new 79 series, 2017. We've got a rear door panel here that we're going to fit a set of the six by nine panels to today to show you how they go. With the door card, we've already taken the handle and the screws out of it. First thing you need to do is remove this ashtray. Pretty simple, just flip the door card over. On the back of it, there's these little metal tabs. Just need to bend those out. just falls out and we'll put that back on the door. Next thing we need to do is mark exactly where on the door we want the speaker panel to fit. The masking tape along the top there just under this crease in the door. From that crease measure down 30 millimeters. line that we've marked on the door gives us something to line the top of the door panel up with. Don't want to go too much higher than this because when the speaker sits inside the door the retainer rod here slides inside the door and can hit the speaker. The front of the door panel will sit this short line here essentially halfway on that short line and lined up at the top Now, before we go cutting this hole out of the door, there are some wires for the electric windows that run up and down midway on the panel here. So you need to remove this, and we're gonna get those wires out of the way, then refit this and cut the hole. Okay, now that we've removed our door panel, we need to move these wires here, because as you can see, they'll be cut. We just take onto a couple of retainers, come off fairly easily. There's also a clip here and one here that can be removed and that will allow us to move the loom that sits inside the door behind the steel. The hole's going to be cut here, so you can generally just tear this plastic open here. And clip that. Also, inside the door, once you've removed this rear clip, there is a, a plug here for the electric window motor. Plug. That will allow you to pull the loom back out the bottom of the door. Now all of your wiring is sitting down around this level here, which is clear of where the hole for the speaker will be cut. Next thing we need to do is refit the door panel and just let these wires hang out the bottom of the door like this for the moment and cut our hole for the speaker. Before cutting the hole, the best thing to use is again jigsaw, metal cutting bit, cuts through the door panel and the steel, no worries, it leaves a nice clean finish. Always wear safety protection, eyes and ears.
that leaves us with a nice clean hole there. Allows the speaker to breathe into the door. Next thing we're going to do is remove this and make certain that we clean out any of the swarf, steel swarf in the bottom of the door from the cut. We'll clean everything up, then we'll rust proof the cut surface and refit the panel and fit our speaker. Reconnect our cabling that we unplugged before. Best way to reattach these to their retainers is just with some cable ties. Okay, now that we've got our hole and put our factory wiring back in place, next thing we have to do is run some new speaker cables as provided with the door panels into the rear doors. To do that, so we need to remove the trim from the B pillar. Just unclips. Back side of the B pillar, there's this plastic retainer for the cables. So pulls out pretty easily. And you've got the plug for the main loom into the door. Just unplug both of these. And then we can remove both grommets from the body of the car and from the door and pull the cable all the way through. Okay. Which gives us good access to be able to take the original tape off, run our wire through and re-tape the loom and refit it. You can see the green markers on the original loom here. Those are for where these rubber boots need to line up for the loom to fit correctly. Feed any cable through. we reach the speaker inside the door. Reposition the rubber boots back onto where the green tape is. You can fold these back over themselves. Begin taping on the inside first.
to get those back in with perseverance. We'll get you there. Put these back in, re-clip this onto the sill. Place the retainer. And this wire can be run up to the head unit or amplifier. Ready to finish fitting our speaker. Same as what we do with the front doors. On the bench here we fit the panel to the actual door card itself. With it we supply a dozen of these short black screws. Basically we just use those to hold it in place to the door card for the time being. Most important thing here is to make certain that the top line of the door panel itself lines up parallel with this line on the door card. So that it looks like it should be there. Simply put a few of these screws through from the back. to the car. Okay, to secure this to the steel of the door before we fit the speaker, just use a 1 drill bit and right at the edge here of where your speaker goes so that it's going to be covered by the speaker itself. We'll pilot hole through. through the wood and into the steel of the door and opposing that the same thing Just make certain that you do it where there is steel behind so supplied with the door panels are four of these long black screws these are used to secure this panel to the steel Going to tighten them to the point where they pull into the timber a little bit so the speaker still sits nice and flush. Okay, now that's nice and secure on the door, we can screw our speaker into the timber itself and we're done. With our wire coming down from the grommet, like a cable tie it to the factory loom inside here just to keep it out of the way of things inside the door. Still the best way to connect a speaker is to lightly solder the connectors. to do this but I always like to pre-drill my speakers, it just makes getting them easier. Nice and central on the hole and nice and straight. So I have a lot less chance of damaging the speaker itself when you're fitting it if you pre-drill them. solder them very quickly, don't want to get too much heat into the connections.
speaker is fitted with the screws and provided with it. So once the speaker's finished like that, we just reassemble the rest of the door, run our speaker wires either up to the head unit or if you're fitting an amplifier to the amplifier and repeat on the other side. Mm -hmm.